Carol Stern is the executive director of the Walton Family Foundation, which supports research showing the impact the pandemic had on students' mental and emotional health. She joins us now to discuss increased social isolation, anxiety, and learning loss. Hi, Carol. Hi, Ashley. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad that we can address these issues. So you have to tell me, what can we do to support students' mental health? Well, we first have to understand what these kids are experiencing. You know, the CDC told us in 2019 that they were seeing an increase in student suicide. And then we have the pandemic and these kids, many of them were forced to change their geography and move. Many of them were isolated from their friends and they were isolated from the teacher or even the woman in the cafeteria that serves them lunch that might notice something was wrong. On top of that, in some homes, mom or dad lost a job and there were serious economic changes. And then finally, unfortunately, far too many of our children experienced death and bore witness to families that were experiencing death in the past two and a half years. So the fact that our research is showing us that 39%, 39% of the kids across our nation are reporting that their mental health is worsening during the pandemic shouldn't shock any of us. Yeah, I, you know, you just made a really good point that I never sat down and thought about. While we were experiencing the pandemic and losing our loved ones, our children were seeing this also and being really affected by, and sometimes, you know, as a kid, you're not touched by death and losing a loved one so early in life. And, and they had to sit there and witness that. They absolutely did, and they were experiencing the, the, the stress while we were experiencing it simultaneously. So it wasn't like something that happened in their life and now we helped them through it. We were going through it at the same time. So what we as parents need to do, we need to talk to our kids and we need to listen. We need to give them a safe space and an opportunity to tell us how they're feeling. And then we need to look around and see what's out there for them and we need to learn together where they might find some support, where there are great resource materials. And then finally, we need to lead. We need to be the grown-ups. We need to understand that we have to help our children know that it's okay to need help, it's okay to ask for help, and it's okay to get help. I absolutely agree. That I think that is like the point to drive home that we have to be the adults in the situation and we are responsible for creating that safe space so that students and our young people feel comfortable coming to us and starting that conversation. Exactly, exactly. And we need to look around because we want to be a resource. You know, I look at our grantees and I see some amazing responses to all of this. The KIPP schools have created an amazing alumni network. They have basically helped 30,000 graduates connect with students around mental health needs, career needs, finance needs, or the turnaround for children has created a well-being index that's literally collecting data on kids' well-being. We should have that in every community. And, and as adults, we not only need to talk to our own kids, we need to advocate to make sure our schools and our community do things like both of those. I absolutely agree. Carol, thank you so much for being here. I can't thank you enough. I think our viewers are really going to gain a lot from this conversation, and they need to start having this conversation with the young people in their life also. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I, I would just encourage you to go to waltonfamilyfoundation.org for more resources.